Welcome to another tutorial on STS. Um, sorry, it's been a while I posted the video. Uh, I've been busy with some things, and the I'm going to give you some of the details later on in this video. Um, um, I promise I was going to continue with. Uh, I was going to complete the probability tutorial and um, probably take some other ones. So this is a probability tutorial. I'm going to start with by the probability distribution so now probability distribution in this we want to try and calculate mean and variance mean variance and standard deviation both in form of probability so let's take for example we have x let's take for example we have x to be 1 1.5 2.53 and we have the frequencies to be 1 2 3 2 1 let's just take for example I just I just citing examples okay if we're working based on probability um so the next step here will be finding the probability of each of the value of x so probability of x is what probability of having one this one is one out of nine how did i get that remember probability is the number of times that variable occurs all over the total number the sample space and if you had the frequencies up here you get nine and for this one for this one the frequency is one so one out of nine then for 1.5 that will be 2 out of 9 then this the next one 3 out of 9 2 out of 9 1 out of 9 that's the probability now what are we trying to work at i'm trying to find mean what's the mean mean in terms of probability is also called the expectation the expectation so expectation is calculated as summation of x P of x that's how you calculate mean in probability and um uh, how do we do that so we just need to find x p of x now uh, x times p of x one out of nine x times p of x 1.5 out uh, sorry 1.5 times 2 that's 3 out of 9 2 times 3 that's x times p of x that's 2 times 3 over 9 6 over 9 2.5 times 2 over 9 that's 5 over 9 and the last one is 3 over 9 so the since we said the mean is the expectation and the expectation is summation xp of x so it becomes what summation of everything we have here 1 over 9 plus 3 over 9 plus 6 over 9 plus 5 over 9 plus 3 over 9 so by the time you sum everything 1 plus 3 plus 6 plus 5 plus 3 over 9 that should be 18 over 9 so yeah a quick calculation this is 11 11 plus 7 18 yeah 18 over 9 so 2 you've calculated the mean of probability distribution and for variance variance is calculated as summation expectation uh, this expectation sorry i didn't mention it can also be written as e of x expectation of x e of x so variance is calculated as summation uh, or, or is, uh, variance is calculated as expectation of x square minus expectation of x all square yes and um, if you are to expand this that means it is summation x square p of x minus summation x p of x all squared so at least we can tell this one is 2 all squared isn't it so it's just left with calculating what we have here so that means we need another table for x square P of x. X square P of X means 
I want to square x here and times it with this. So 1 square times this. Or you can just simply say x. Since we already have xp of x, just multiply x. Just multiply x with xp of x. It's still the same as x squared p of instead of squaring it first time. Well, it's still all the same. This is 1 over 9. 1.5 times 3. That should be 4.5 over 9. <coughs> 2 times 3 and uh, 2 times 6 12 over 9 2.5 times 5 12.5 12.5 over 9 and um, the last one 9 over 9 so what we need to do now is to get x squared p of x let's just summation x squared p of x that's 1 over 9 plus 4.5 over 9 plus 12 over 9 plus 12.5 over 9 plus 9 over 9 9 then we sum everything 1 plus 4.5 plus 12 plus 12.5 plus 9 so 39 all over 9 so everything here is 39 all over 9 so then we can see for this probability this distribution that we have up here the variance equals to Summation we are having the this thing 39 over 9 minus this one is 2 or we can simply say 18 over 9 but let's just keep it as 2 still the same 2 all square 39 over 9 minus 4 all over 1 so this is 9 39 minus 9 over 1 9, 9 times 4 is 36 so that's 3 over 9 and it is what? 1 all over 3. We've got some variance. And in order to get standard deviation, very simple. Standard deviation equals to the square root of what? Variance. So that's, I think that one is straightforward enough. So that's that about probability distribution. And um, how, do you, how do you get questions, you know, based on all this? Well, how does questions come? Very simple. You can have a question like... Simple expectation is what summation of x p of x. And in this case, we have just only one number, we don't have two, so it's just simply x there is 5 times the p of x is 2 over 3, and that's what 10 over 3 that's the expectation. It's as simple as that. And um, you might also get other questions regarding variance, but the point is you know the formula, you know how to use them. In the distribution so that's probability distribution and uh, in the next video we are going to cover some of those um, distributions like um, the binomial distribution Bernoulli distribution and the likes thanks for listening bye